Hello everyone. Guess what time it is? Onyx, you want to tell them what time it is? Mm. I'll tell you guys. It's time for home workout number two. Let's get right into it. Okay, for workout number two in your home workout quarantine cycle, you'll see I have a few more things here at my feet. The step is basically any, stair, any stairs you'll have in the, in the house that you can use. If you don't have any stairs in your condo, for example, you can always go in the hallway, or if you find a couple of books, you can stack up something that's very sturdy and safe, you can do that as well. You'll see I have a couple cans, a couple jugs. This workout, you'll definitely need two jugs, if you can, and a couple cans. Also, if the jugs are done the same way, that's perfectly fine. But what you want to do is, each set, you're going to switch, switch sides so that you're balancing it out but when you have one side that's heavier than the other, we actually call that imperfect training. So it's on purpose sometimes you'll do that. And today, if you don't have a choice, might as well take advantage of it. The workout, first I would say, and I did not mention that in the last one, is I'd like expect you to do a little bit of stretching before, some dynamic stretching just to loosen up a little bit. I won't go over it in this workout, but if you need a routine, email me and I have one I'll set up. Or there's one on the YouTube channel as well called Dynamic Stretching Video. You can use that to warm up for the workout. Now, you're ready, you stretch. We're gonna start with a little bit of conditioning today. We're gonna do three rounds of 15 jumping jacks and eight high row jug swings. And I'll show you both in a second. So the jumping jack, you start hands by your side, feet together. You jump, touch at the top, open the legs, All right? You'll do 15 of these. If jumping is too demanding, okay, I'm trying to make this video accessible to a wide range uh, in age, then I would suggest this, stepping over, arms overhead. And I would do eight one side, and then we will do seven with the other side. If you can lift above uh, your arms above your, your head, that's okay, just this way. You just wanna move, get some blood circulating. Then you're gonna do eight row per side of the jug high row. So I swing it, but at the top, I pull it in and I punch it out. So it's a little bit of a tricky one, okay? When you've done eight, switch sides. When I'm doing this, neutral spine, pushing the hips back, and then popping them on the way forward. All right, there you go. So, that's the conditioning piece. Pause the video, do your three rounds, and after that, come right back, and we'll keep going. Welcome back. All right, now we have the step here. What I'm looking for, it's gonna be a side step up, ideally with body weight, if it's easy, you can add weight by holding something to make it harder. But I'm looking for perfect form. And number one is that I'm gonna be working my right leg in this instance, that's the one on the step. The left leg, my knee is locked, my toes are up. When I come down, I touch the heel gently, right back up, I'm only using my right leg. So a lot of people, when they do step ups, they do them high, and then they use the left leg to push off. And then they push up the ankle with the calves, they push up with the knee, and then the right leg in this instance doesn't do much work. So we're gonna be very strict. Left leg is locked, right leg doing the work. If the step is too high, it's okay to just go down a little bit and back up. That's perfectly fine. And you'll have probably a rail near you, use it if you need it, okay? So you'll do eight uh, repetitions per side, in this first tri set, three exercises we're doing, everything is eight. Three sets of eight for everything, nice and simple. Second exercise, you're gonna grab a can or a jug. I'm gonna use a jug here. And we're gonna do a one-arm dumbbell row. So I'm doing a long stance, putting my, uh, my right hand in this instance on my right knee. I'm leaning forward and my back is in a neutral position. From here, I'm gonna pull the weight towards me this is a one arm row, and this is working my back. I want to try to stay neutral. You'll see my head, I'm looking at the floor. I'm not looking up. And I'm keeping a neutral spine. Uh, and I'm trying to stay parallel to the floor as much as I can. Okay, this hand is just a nice support. Minimum equipment required. 
After eight times, switch side and do the other side. Third exercise is going to be upright rows. This is going to work the shoulders. If you have injured shoulders, many of my clients do, you can try the exercise first without any weights and then with very, very light items. If there's any pain, please stop. For eight repetitions, you're going to be here. I'm holding two cans and I'm going to lift my elbows up. And you'll see my upper arm is parallel to the floor over here. This is what I'm looking for. You'll also notice my hand is way below my elbow. It's pretty much at chest level. So this is a good way of doing it. And I'll show you a bad way, which is like this. I'm lifting from my hands. Hands and wrists are above the elbow. And then I'm losing also the um, stimulus, which I'm looking for a stimulus in the shoulder. Okay. And after eight, we go back to the step ups, back to the jog row, one arm row, and then back to the upright rows, three sets. Do it, pause the video, and then come right back. All right, our third superset. This one is going to be three sets again, this time 10 repetitions. First exercise is going to be a deadlift. So for the deadlift, I'm going to use two jugs. And you'll notice they're not even the same. And that's perfectly fine because the next sets will rotate. And for the third set, you do half and half. So you really balance things up. For the deadlift, I'm standing tall, shoulder blades are back. I'm going to hinge at the hips and I'm going to bend at the knees. They're going to touch the floor and right back up. So it's kind of like a squat, okay? I'm keeping a neutral spine all the time. So that was a, this is a good position. This is a bad position. This will hurt your back. Don't do it. Shoulders back, chest up, and keeping that neutral spine. After your 10 repetitions, we're going to move on to holding on one jug, or you can also use two cans, and we'll do tricep extensions. So arms overhead, and then you're going to bend at the elbows, reaching back as far down as I can, so I get a nice stretch in the triceps and then extending overhead. When I'm doing this, even though it's a tricep exercise, because I have weights overhead, my core is engaged. So my abs are tight, I'm keeping my stomach tight, and I'm squeezing my glutes so that I have a strong foundation here, and then my body is straight. What I don't want to see is arching this way. Okay, but from here, 10 reps. Like I said, you can use the cans, or you can just use a jug and do the same thing. If things are not even, switch them around each set so you balance things out. Okay. For your third exercise, this one, I want points for creativity. You're going to use one arm, you're going to put under your upper arm. And then holding the jug or a can, I'm going to do a one arm bicep curl. Okay. The support brings the elbow in front. When we do biceps, we have three elbow positions that we can do the exercise from. In, in, in this case, the elbow is in front. If I don't put my arm, it's going to be beside my body. And if I had an inclined bench where I'd be lying back, my elbow would be behind. But for this today's exercise, we're doing the preacher one arm curl. You'll do 10 and then you'll switch sides. So this is our third group of exercises, the second one for the strength portion. We're going to move to our last one, which will be three sets, 12 repetitions. First exercise we're going to do can be a little tricky. I'll give you a bunch of variations to help you out. But basically it's going to be a good morning. So the good morning, if we use no weights at all, we're going to do arms, cross, arms across over the chest. Wide stance, I'd say about one and a half width of the, of the shoulders. And then from here, I'm going to push my bum back. Knees are slightly bent. Neutral spine, all of it, even looking at the floor. And then hips forward. So this motion is going to strengthen my posterior chain, which is my hamstrings, glutes, lower back. If this is easy doing body weight, well, I can hold a jug right at the chest level. And I'm going to keep doing the same motion. Now maybe you're a super fitness pro, you go to the gym all the time, you're super fit, and it's still, still too easy. I got a challenge for you. You're going to do it on one leg. So you still hold it to the, the weight on the chest, 
And then from here, we're going to go one leg at a time. Having the weight really high up on the torso, as well as going on one leg, really changes your center of gravity and makes it much more challenging to do. You're going to do 12 reps, then you're going to move on to the next group of exercises. For the next one, exercise number two, two cans, standing tall and straight, shoulders back. And we're going to do lateral raises. This is going to work the shoulders, and you'll do 12 repetitions. Third exercise, hold down to those weights. This, we're going to do the back of the shoulders, the rear delts, and for that one I need to bend forward, so I push my hips back, neutral spine, weight is close to me, I don't want my weight all the way in front. Again, center of gravity. And then from here, opening up, and ideally I want the cans in line with my head. And we're going to do 12 repetitions. And when I'm doing this, I'm keeping my stomach tight so that I don't let my organs push my stomach forward or down, which would hurt my lower back. Strong position, feel comfortable, feel safe. That would be my rule number one. Enjoy this workout. Any questions, send me an email.